Okay, let me know if you can hear me. This is like live TV. <laughs> Retake. <laughs> All right, let me know if you can hear me. I have no idea what happened. That was strange, but apparently I'm here. Okay, let's start all over. Even though what I said was very good. Welcome, welcome to make $20,000 a month trading with 30 minutes a day with a proven system. The system is the system that I trade. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. So today we're gonna talk about my method to trade. And if you have any questions, you can email me at melissatthestockswish.com after this event tonight. So as I was saying, what we're going to talk about is the first 30 minutes of the day. That is the very important time that tells you what a stock's going to do in the day. Also, it tells you more than that. Uh, it's, it's, it's telling not only for what it's going to do for the move, the momentum of the direction, but it also has the most, the biggest gains of if you're a day trader that you could take within that day to take the trade and the entry. Now, it's up to you if you want to be in it for 30 minutes and then get out, or if you want to stay in it longer. We're going to look at some trades today that went on past the 30 minutes. But ideally, in an ideal world, I would be in a trade and out within the 30 minutes every time. I really like to be done quickly. It's just a thing. And the luckily, the strategy that I focus on is gaps which happen into the open. Okay. Now, I am a day trader. I trade the U.S. stock market. You can trade many, many different types of things in the market, in the U.S. market. But if you're looking to be a day trader, I really feel that this is the time of the day that counts. I really feel like this is the time of the day you're going to get the correct entries, the momentum, the volume, all the things that you need to make money as a day trader. Because remember, a day trader, you're chunking it out. You're actually taking the trade and you're chunking out the money every day. And that's how it adds up. So that's how it adds up to be, you know, substantial where you're making $20,000 a month or more. You chunk it out by taking quality trades, being very focused and very specific, and even so specific that you are focusing on the time of day. So it is about being serious, serious about what you do and doing it consistently. I've been so serious lately that it's like, I've never been more serious about my trading. The amount of risk I'm taking this year is the most I've ever taken in the, in the seven years I've traded. And also, I'm trading actually less. I'm trading less stocks and even like there's days where I don't trade. I like I didn't trade today, okay? If I don't see the setup, then I don't take it. And that's how you get the consistency to actually get to this level of income. There are billions of dollars in the market, so you know that it's possible for you to just make 20,000. That's like a smidgen. It's like a baby amount. It's like a teeny weeny bit of money if you look at the amount of money in the market. So it's possible. It's just that many day traders aren't focused. And not only that, they have no idea what to focus on. So the key to day trading stocks successfully is to trade a system that is reliable and proven and do it every day and not to deviate from it. The success or failure of yourself as a day trader has a lot to do with the quality of your system. Meaning if you're doing something you're not making money, then it actually might be that your system stinks. It might be El Stinko. And I don't, I don't know, but you know, I know that finding a good system can be challenging for people because there's so much out there and you gotta like filter through it. You almost have to be like a filter where you're filtering through the information to find something that just drives with you and you see it and you know it and you just know. You just know then that this is the thing that you wanna do. For me, it was the point where one of the days I traded, I made, this is really early on in my trading, it was at the beginning of 2009, I started trading at the end of 2008, and I made like $5,000 in one day when I, traded, when I traded a gap, and it was a short, and it was a short, and I loved a short, and then that was the end of the line for me. I was cooked. I was done. I was toast. I was going to trade. I was going to trade this thing, and I was going to figure it out, and I was going to short, and I was going to do gaps. Now, obviously, at that time, I didn't know what I know now, but I thought I did, and I kept trading, and then I realized I did know everything, but I knew that there was something to these gap things because of the amount of money that I made and the time that I made it in, in the open. It's in the open. It's between 9.30 and 10, and that is the piece of the time of the day that I have really learned how to train and determine directional bias. So how can you become successful day trading? Well, it takes more than hard work to become successful as a day trader, and, and really actually in anything. And, and, and to be able to make $20,000 a month, that's, that's a living, okay? And it takes ingenuity. It takes a detailed plan of action to train. 
The number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a trader is having a specific system and strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis. Trading success and financial success in the market is by pure design. You have to go into it and say, I'm going to do this, and this is how much I'm going to make today. Boom. So what does it take? It really takes having a niche, which, which I do. But if you want to trade like everyone else out there, your results will be like everyone else. And quite frankly, a lot of traders lose. But if you want to have outstanding results in your trading, then you need to be different. You need to grab hold of what works and learn from a trader who has a special talent for reading the market, which, which, which actually I do. And it's because of the way that I read gaps, actually. Learn a methodology and a system that is unique. And, and, and I have a unique method. I have a unique method and a unique strategy that I and I alone created. And it is called the Golden Gap Rating System. It is a 26-point checklist. Now, I just did a class this past weekend. Now, the next class isn't until October, more than a month from now. But I did the class this past weekend. And you know what's it's interesting? Every time I do the class, I have people that do the retakes because you're allowed to retake my class for free once you sign up the first time. And then I have people that have that are brand new when I do the class. And, and every time I do a class, people learn something even if it's the retakes and and you think that this is something you say gosh 26 points it's like pfft, that's a lot but the fact is actually if I could come up with a thing that had 56 points I would do it and you know what that I never get it wrong but the reality is that 26 is fine and it's it's you have plenty of time you don't need that much time three to four minutes to rate the gap if you're new and I could do it like in a minute or less but I'm telling you that the more you do it the longer that you do it the better that you get, the better you get the ratings. So I just tallied them up and told, told everything. And that's how I do it. So it's about focusing on the right time of day with the money. Because if you focus on the right time of the day with the money, you will have the consistency that you need. And what tells you that? The gap, okay? Now, what is a gap? We're talking about the fact that I have a niche. It's because I trade gaps. And why do they work? Why does this method work? What is the 26 points? What does it even mean? It's looking at institutional money. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Banks, hedge funds in the market. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side, and then you play it. Gaps are an event, and they create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful, which, which it is. Because you can't make this much money this quickly within 30 minutes in any other strategy. Okay? And it's because the momentum from the money comes into the open of the institutional money. Okay? Trading golden gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power and money. What is it about? It's about the focus. You stay in balance and the focus. So my win ratio is one of the reasons why I'm very successful. Now, if you want to look at it, just break it down. If you if you won, if your law if your wins are more than your losses, then you should be a profitable trader. In other words, let's say your wins are 51%. 51% of the time you win and 49% you lose lose. Theoretically, that you'd be successful, you'd be up. Except for the fact that, guess what? It costs money to trade, meaning you have to pay the broker, you have to pay commissions, you have to pay a platform fee. You have to pay for things, actually, that cost money in relationship to trading. So it's, like, not enough, really, to be profitable at 49.51. So you have to look for something that has a high success ratio. And my system has an over 80% success ratio. I get it right a lot. Well, that's one of the reasons that I can make this kind of money because you can't have that many losses. Number one, that means that many days of the month you can't be down at all. And also on top of that, you have to have big up days. That's another important thing too. And then the third thing that you have to have is the days that you lose. You cannot lose a lot. Now, I know that's a problem for some people, but to be honest with you, if you want to do well, those are, the, those are the key things. It's money management, which we'll talk about later. So predicting events beforehand in the moment for profit is something that I really do well. Now, I'm not going to talk in depth here about the market, but the reality is the U.S. stock market and the ETS and the SPY and the QQQs are actually higher. 
and they actually hire and will make a new high for the end of the year. I'm probably one of the only person that's saying that right now. This is a chart from a few days ago. It might have been even been Monday, but today the market really showed even the strength in itself because it's been holding the last two days very, very nicely and very, very bullishly. Even though we haven't rallied like a crazy person, we're holding. And I'm able to predict events before they happen. In fact, I'll predict right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, the market will make a new high this year in both the SPY and the QQQs before the end of the calendar year 2015. I'm probably the only person on the planet that's saying that, but my ability to be able to predict events before they happen is because of my ability to be able to read gaps and charts. And it's so important. It's actually like the most important thing that's in a chart. So how do you make good choices when you're trading? How do you find the quality trades by using a proven system? A proven system that, by the way, is my system that can tell you not only how to day trade, but how to read long-term trends. And that's how I'm able to read and predict the market. And you can go back on YouTube and you can watch, you can watch every market video I did for the last two years. And you'll see how I predicted everything the market's done. So let's talk about the system. It's about the how, when, and when. How do you make money in the market? You trade a strategy in a system that is highly profitable. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to trade. What stock should you trade? Stocks at gap and rate 20 points or more per the 26 point rating system. We'll talk about this a little bit more later. You trade the gap though in the direction of the gap. In other words, I'm looking to short a gap down. I have to rate it. It has to rate well, but if it doesn't, I'm shorting it. When do you trade them? You trade them early in the morning, on the open, when they set up and trigger. And that's where the money is. When the institutions are dumping the stock or they are buying the stock into the open. So following a system is really how you make money this quickly. And it's the only way to make money at all, actually. Even if you were patient and you waited all day to 4 o'clock to make money, you still have to have a system or it just wouldn't even work. Or it just wouldn't even, even work. Now, this was a trade from last week. It was a nice, nice short. This was rad. And going back to what I was saying just two seconds ago, of the fact that you could do this for a day trade, which was the day that I did this, I didn't do anything with this at all after the gap. But the fact is the stock continued and it went to the target for the swing trade. I have a swing trade letter and this went to the target and I did it in the swing trade, but I actually liked the day trades. Now, what happened here? You got up in the morning, you looked for the stock. You looked in your scanner, the stock closed here and it gapped down. Closed here and it gapped down, and then you would rate the gap. And I predicted that it would go to this target. In fact, I predicted exactly, but I will tell you I actually got out of it before the target because I like to be out quickly. If you held this past 10 o'clock though, you actually got it to the target. It went there to the penny, to the penny that I said that I predicted it, and there it is. It was a nice trade. It is a nice trade, and this is a short. So I shorted the gap down in the rad. Now, let's go over the play. How would you do this? Why would you do this? Because you learn, take my class and you follow the system and you rate the gap. The gap has to rate 20 points or more for the 26 point rating system or you're not gonna short it. If it does, you will short it. If it doesn't, you won't do it. Again, back to the money management. Don't do anything if there's nothing good. Here's the one minute chart. Stock gap down, rallied. The short was in here. I just squished this because I wanted you to see the whole thing. But the reality is that this was the short. And if you get out of this into the first drop into 10 o'clock, you had a beautiful positive day. Now, if you held it for an hour, an hour, 45 minutes or so, you actually made more money. But if you wanted to be done in 30 minutes, you got the move and you got paid. Now, if you took a risk, I'm saying a risk between four or five, six hundred dollars is what your risk really needs to be to make 20K a month. So I'm telling you, that's what it has to be. Now, I'm risking more than this, and I did in this trade, but I'm telling you, if you want to do the monies of the 20 grand a month, you've got to be risking four, five, six hundred a trade. These are the parameters. Now, if you short the stock at $8.11, the stock was $8.20, okay, and you got out by 10, you could have made 1260 bucks. Time and trade was 30 minutes. You could set a clock and say, I'm in and I'm out by 10 o'clock. You could do that every day. Now, I will tell you, like I said, this continued, and you would have made more money. But I actually took more size than that in the racks. I actually had 10,000 shares of this, and I made $3,200 or thereabouts, okay? And this time period, this is it. I just was in and I was out. And so, and to make 30 minutes, to make $3,200 in 30 minutes is, is phenomenal, actually. That's phenomenal. So this is a reason that I love to trade, actually. And this is the reason why, actually, it doesn't bother me if I don't trade a day like today. 
because if I don't trade today because there wasn't anything good, I won't give this money that I made back. And so the lesson to be learned is that when you're moving forward, you want to make real money in the market where you keep it and you pay yourself. You have to only do stuff that's good. You can't just be taking pot shots. And I usually do one trade a day, maybe two, but usually one trade a day is all that I do. Now, if you held a trade, which I didn't, but if you risk $600 and held the trade, you made almost as much as I did actually taking it in 30 minutes. So you would have had to be in it for 1.45 hours. But I will tell you that actually you could have risked $600 and made almost three grand in this trade if you held it all the way down. That's amazing. And the reason is why? Because of the fact the stop. The stop was only 10 cents. It was a baby stop in rad. And, it, and not only that, it went to the target. And why? Why did it have a good entry? Why did it work on the day as a short? Why did it go actually to the target that I set in the room and wrote in the room the other day? And I actually said 765 in the room. I wrote it. If you're in the live trading room with me in the day, I write the exact numbers of the targets and the resistance and support. It went there. Why? Because of the gap reading, because of the 26 points, because of the strategy, because the gap was good, because it was the pick. This is where the niche of the thing that I do comes into play. This is why I have a successful business. This is why I'm trading for seven years now successfully. This is why all of this, okay? This is why I make three grand in five minutes. You have to have like a, like a laser. It's like you, you have a laser. You go to the market and you go like that. It's like a laser. And you go to the target and you go and you take it like that. And the amount of time it could be, could be one minute, two minutes, five minutes. It could be 30 minutes you're in the trade. But the entry, of, and the pick is like a laser. And so that is how you're doing it, okay? Now, does anyone have any questions about RAD? Any, anyone have any questions? Any questions at all about this trade before I go on? <laughs> I wish you could see me now, but there's just no way to have my webcam up in the PowerPoint. They don't coincide. And I don't want to get booted again. But does anyone have any questions? Everyone is very, very quiet tonight. Am I boring you? Is everyone falling asleep? Should I have more caffeine? <laughs> is it because it's late? Is, is, it, is everybody in bed? It's, it's 10 of 6 here in New York. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Maybe the mic isn't working. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next chart here. Getting back to what I was saying, this kind of trading, okay, can be duplicated over and over. You are looking for the very specific trade. It's the right pick. And you have to look for it every day when you get up. You never know. You never know if you're going to have a good one. If you're not going to have one, you just, you never know day after day. What does proven mean? And this is part of the title of the lecture. It means consistent and reliable. And this was a nice trade back here from the beginning of September. This was September, I think this was 11th, yeah. This was FNSR, okay? This was another short that I did. This goes back again to the reliability and consistency of doing it. You, you know that if you get up tomorrow, you'll have a good one. And if you get up the next day and you don't have a good one, you're okay with that because you know the market will give you a good one the next day. And this is where you feel, you feel a reliance. You're, it's a partnership with the market. You're doing your thing. The market's doing its thing. You got to wait for the right ones. And the market actually then what happens is it instills confidence and conviction in you when you prove that you have the discipline and patience to wait for the good trades. So why is the Golden Gap 26-point rating system consistent and reliable? Because of the power of money. That's what happened with the RAD. It sold off on the day. That's how I made money shorting it and actually just bled right down to the target. If you didn't take the entry I did, you really didn't get in it. Power of money in the market is created by institutions who set the tone for stocks move on the day. If you become a specialist in defining what institutions are buying or selling, then you will have a huge advantage in your trading. Power of money sets the trend, makes the trend, and changes the trend in charts. Now we have a question here. Jovi is asking me about brokers for shorting. If you want to email me directly, I'll refer you to a broker that I'm trading at now and one I traded at previously. I used to trade at a prop place. I don't anymore. I'm at a retail place. You have to determine what's best for you, the prop or the retail. Obviously, you need more money to trade a retail account as uh, to be a pattern day trader. But the prop place I would refer you to 
has a good short access as well, okay? Because you have to trade it at a broker that has good short access if you want to do my system, of which I can recommend to you. And there is quite a lot out there, actually. All right, good question. Anybody else? You can ask any questions. And they'll send you uh, information about the commissions and stuff like that. I'm not a broker. I just teach you the strategy. But I can recommend the places that have the shorts. And actually, you know what's funny? Of all the years that I've traded, I've only ever been at four places. A lot, a lot of times, actually, uh, traders are at, they skip around. They go from place to place to place to place to place. You know what? And I used to be at this place when I first started out, and then I ended up going prop because I was losing too much at the beginning, and I needed my money, so I needed the leverage. So then I switched to prop, and then I ended up going back to retail once I became profitable and back to the original place that I originally started. But the funny thing is that uh, that's actually pretty good. I've only been at four places in seven years, going on eight. That's like, that might be a record because most people actually jump around like a lot, trying to get deals and wheels and steals at different commission things. I think you got to find a place you like and stay with it. If, if you're trading in a place where the shares are hard to get, then you can't trade there. I mean, you're going to have to switch. That's, you know, there's no other solution. And, and there's no excuse right now, actually, for not having a broker that has shorts. None. Because there's too many out there. you got a bazillion brokers to choose from. Just change. A lot of people are married to their platforms and married to their brokers. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm not married to my broker. I like them. They're good. I'm there. I'm happy. Everything's working fine. But if something happened that was a problem, I'd leave. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. So... I mean, I'm not, I'm not married to anyone, so you got to do what you got to do to make the money. Even if that means you have to go someplace where you have to pay for a platform fee. Sometimes people are like, oh, I can't leave because I'm in love with the Jiggies and I, and I can't get this platform at the other place or if I move and they're going to charge me $250 a month. So what? If it means you get the shorts, you can take the trades, you're going to make way more than $250 or $450 or whatever you're paying for the platform. And not only that, it, it means you can't trade on days to, to get the shorts. you got to be at a place so you can take the trades. And if that means you have to pay for the platform or learn a new platform, then that is what you have to do. Okay? Now let's get back to this. If you are not trading on the side of power and money in the market, you will have a hard time seeing lasting and consistent success in your trading. You have to learn how to read and trade on the side of institutional money. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. And at the end of the webinar, we're going to talk about something with the market. So remind me here without this. So to make it in this business as a day trader, you cannot lose a lot. I was talking about this earlier. The bottom line is you have to win way more than you lose. And what does that mean? That means you have to win more days than you lose. And you also have to not lose a lot on the days that you lose. In other words, let's say you only lose two days a month. It doesn't mean a hill of beans if the days that you lose are massive losses. They'll wipe out the gains you made in the rest of the 18 days. So you have to have a set amount you're willing to lose on the day when you call it quits. I mean, everybody has a bad day once in a while, but you've got to know when to stop. Okay? Anyways, getting back to it, you've got to win more than you lose. That's the only way to know that you're making the consistent profits in a strategy that works, and you also have to win big and you have to be right a lot. And what helps you with this is the 26 point rating system. And it's a checklist. It's a checklist I do every morning and you can do it at night. You can do it at night, why? Because stocks gap at night. There are some stocks gapping right now. I'm gonna wait till the morning, but the bottom line is you could rate gaps at night. You can do them in the morning or at night. Now, what does a 26 point rating system tell you? It measures the gap by rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move on the day. Number three, early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10. And number four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk reward target potential, which may mean that you have to stay in it past 30 minutes. You might get 80% of the move in the first 30 minutes. It's up to you. If you want to kill it or take it out, then I usually like to get out unless I have nothing to do and I'll hold it. But I will tell you that Sometimes he's going to dream targets, and you may have to stay in it past 30 minutes. That's up to you, but you get 80% of the move into the 30 minutes, and that's what's good about this. And not only that, you can be done. Done with your day, your work day. Go on, do whatever you have to do. Okay, that's a, an amazing thing about this. 
So it's really about correct trade selection. That's how you know when you shouldn't trade. That's how you know when you should trade. You've got to get the directional bias right consistently to know what direction to take the trade. That's why, and I'm just, this is a sidebar here, but this is why, gosh, this is, this is why I'm so good at this. This is, this is actually why I'm so good at this. And I will tell you right now, you can not do both. You might think that you can, but you can't. And I'm telling you the reason is why is because of the fact that the way your brain is wired. And, and, and I know so much about the brain, it's not even funny. And I talk about this in the GAP class too. Your brain is wired that if you have trained your brain, which I have, and I'm living proof of this, and that's why I'm reading the market right and so well, like nobody on the planet, you have to train your brain to read things correctly if you are shorting down gaps and buying down gaps and shorting up gaps and buying up gaps, you're, you're, you've screwed up your brain. Your brain doesn't know what to do when it gets up in the morning and rolls out of bed. It, it doesn't have what I call an instinct. That's something that I have. Like I can't even, if I tried to sell it to you and bottled it up, I couldn't. And if I would, I'd charge a million dollars a bottle. The reason that I can make incredible calls that no one can make is because I have an amazing instinct that I train my brain right to read gaps in the market and I am not doing stuff that's the opposite of what you're supposed to do so that I either look for it and see it or if I don't, I don't do it. Now, this is because of the way your brain works, okay? So this is above and beyond the trains, the charts, the money, everything else. The way that your brain works to see something, to take it, to have 100% conviction, to know is because of tra I've trained my brain. Like, I've just, I, if you could live in my brain, you would see things. This is how I'm predicting what the market's going to do. I can see it because I've trained my brain so well to read gaps and how money moves in the market. And it's the price. It's the price. I'm reading in the candlesticks, but I'm reading it live, but it's in the gaps in the price and the movement of the money that's in the market. And if you're, if you're doing everything under the sun, 25 different strategies, you're going long, you're going short, you're buying down guts, you're somebody's shorting them, you're doing this, you're doing that, you'll, you'll never get to, you'll never become me. You'll never have the instinct. You'll never have the edge. You'll never have the niche. You'll never see a trade and say, I'm going to take this trade and risk $2,000 and I'm going to be out in five minutes and make a million dollars. You'll never be able to do it. And if push comes to shove and you have three things to look at, you won't pick the right one. And if push comes to shove, that you ever get to the point of getting to make this money and beyond, by the way, you won't. You won't because of the fact that you haven't trained your brain right because it's about the risk. You're never getting away from taking risk in the market. There's nothing you can do to get away from it. You have to take the risk if you want to profit. And what helps you do that? You train your brain. You train your brain. It alleviates the fear. You move past the fear of it. You forget about the past and the trades that you took that you lost to the market or classes you took you didn't learn anything from. You don't even care. And you know why you don't care? Because you know how to do it. And all of a sudden you're like, who cares about what happened before? I know how to do it now and that's all that matters and I'm moving forward and you do it. But what happens is that many people just don't train their brain. They have no clue how important that is. I understand. That's why I'm teaching people and they're successful and also that's one of the reasons I'm successful myself. All right, getting back to this. Trading successfully means focusing on taking trades with institutions. Meaning on the side of institutions increases your odds to make profits because institutions make stock trends and the market, which I love. Institutions move stocks either up or down. If you want to get paid, then the key to, is to be in the trade with the large directional moves. If you are trading with institutions, not only are you on the side of momentum, you are also trading with professional traders. As an individual trader, you will be more successful if you trade like a professional, even if you just work for yourself. And I don't care if you work for yourself and risk $50 a day or work for yourself and risk $5,000 a day if you can afford it. The idea is that you have to be acting like a professional. The rating system looks at 26 points of the daily chart of a stock. The rating system is a checklist. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock to read the direction correctly. And, and that's what you have to do. You just follow it and do it. That's it. The points tell you where the money is flowing. Why does this matter? So you know what direction to take the position to profit. And you stick with it and you don't deviate. So what do you need to do to make trading work? Number one, a strategy, which is Golden Gaps, which is what I teach in the Golden Gap course. This was Staples. It was a gap down that happened yesterday. Stock closed here and gap down. It was a bearish gap. You could have shorted this. Number two, what else do you need? You need a system to follow with rules for the picks. Only trade gaps that meet the criteria of 20 points or more. If there are none, you don't trade, like I didn't trade today. 
You take the gap in the direction of the gap, long or short, if it meets the criteria in the direction of the gap and no deviation. That's how you train your brain right. You follow the rules. Not all gaps are good. They must meet the criteria. You don't do one if you don't get it. And that's it, okay? And number three, a method and a structure to enter and exit the picks. This was Staples. You need a reason you're taking it. Where's the entry? Where's the exit? Where's the time of day I want to get in? Again, it's within that 30 minute period. You're looking for the entry, which I teach in the class. The time of the day is just a really big factor in making money as a day trader. And if you don't get the time right, you're screwed. And, and you'll be chasing, chasing, chasing all day to try to come back losses for the morning or trying to make money or find anything good. Then all of a sudden it's four o'clock. It's four o'clock and what did you do? You didn't, you didn't make any money that day. And you might have even lost. And you might have lost like the days that you actually made the money. Because again, you can't have lost days that are bigger than your wins. And number four, what else do you need to be successful? Monetary goals per day, per week, per trade. Goals should be based on a risk unit, which should be based on account size, monetary, weekly, monthly goals. Goals should be three risk units on average. That should be your goal. Some days you'll make one, some days you'll make two, but your goal is always three. Some days you'll make six. Some trades will be more than three hours, some will be less. If the trade fails, you only lose one risk unit. And that's another good thing because they use the stops. And you take the stops and there's no deviation from that. The, the reliability really is with sticking with one thing daily. And I just can't tell you how much that makes a difference. You don't have heavy com commissions then with a broker. You, you, it would be impossible for you to have big losses if you only did one stock a day. You'd have to trade it 50 times for you to have some big loss. Now, now maybe you did it twice on a retake or something, but the bottom line is like it would, it, would, it would actually be hard. It would actually be hard for you to lose money if you only had one stock a day that you traded. You'd have to be in and out of it 7,000 times. And I'm not saying people don't do that. There are some people that are crazy enough to do that. But it, if you stick to one thing, your losses should be limited, low, not that many in the month, and not that many lost days where you have any big lost days. Okay, and that's what helps you get to the 20,000 a month. You have a couple of days you make really good money, you chunk it out the rest of the time, you don't have that many losses. You lose two days a month, it's one R here, one R there, that's it. And this is how you put it together. Now let's look at the staples. The staples was a gap. The stock closed here, a gap down, this was yesterday. Staples actually went to the target yesterday and beyond. And it actually was a short. And it was a gap down and it was a short you could have shorted. Here is a one minute chart in the staples. You could have shorted staples here and you could have gotten immediately out in the first 30 minutes. Now, if you wanted to hold it, it actually went to the target. It went past the target. And this is one of these things where, you know, like I was saying, if you want to hold it longer, you can. And really the target was 1250. It actually went past it. Price of the entry though for the first trade was 1313. Stop was at 1335. Risk is 22 cents. If you take the advanced risk here, where you're trying to make the 20K a month, that's your goal. So you have to have a risk that al aligns with that. 400, 500, 600, it has to be in this range. 3,000 shares, exit at 1280, you made almost 1,000 bucks in, in 30 minutes. This is not to the bigger number. This is just the morning. You're out by 10, boom, okay? So you have the sell up in the morning, made almost your $1,000, you ran to the gym. Now, if you wanted to do something different and hold it, you could have. But that 30 minutes a day is the time that matters into the open that I find the most consistency with the stocks, with the gaps, with the entries, with the numbers, with the moves. And I can figure it out. And I'm doing the trades and I can tell if it falls off a planet in 30 minutes, I can see I'm going to get in that time. If it doesn't fall off a planet in that time period, then I make it out. And then my day is just done. But it's a nice choice that you have. Now, does anyone have any questions before I start to talk here a little bit about the market? I just talked and talked and talked there. Does anyone have any other questions? I kind of feel like I'm talking faster now, actually. Anyone have any other questions? Joe V was the only one that asked a question. Anyone else? All right, I'm gonna keep talking. Now, let's talk about the market. So we were talking earlier about institutional money and the power of that and what it really means. As everybody knows, if you've traded and if you haven't traded before and you're new, on the day of August 24th, the, the US stock market had a gap in it. It was a big gap. The market closed the night before. This is in the QQQs around 102. 
and it opened at $94. So the market gap. Now you could have rated this gap to short. If you had rated it per my 26 point rating system, guess what? It didn't rate as a short, meaning it didn't tell you to short it. But I didn't buy it, okay? I did not buy it. This goes back to the training of the brain, okay? Now, hold on, Joe has a question, another question. Oh, Joe is saying, do they know how to ask a question? You're familiar with the platform. It seems like the open chat is blocked in order for the guests to ask a question. No, so that's a private chat you buy. I have no idea, Kathy, what you have. I have no idea, Kathy, how you set it up. Can people ask questions or not here? I didn't realize that Joe was private chatting me, actually. That's funny. I have no idea. Can people ask questions or not, Kathy? Bubba says the moderator has disabled messages and sound. I thought people could ask questions. Am I talking to myself here, though? Kathy, can you hear me? Hold on. Let me ask Kathy. Because we have time here. I have I, I don't know what, what we put it on here. Kathy's going to get back to me on that. All right, we'll find out. Okay, well, we'll find out. Kathy's going to get back to you about that in case people do have questions and they couldn't ask them. They should be able to ask questions or to try now to chat in the room. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, I had no idea. <laughs> that was hilariousness. It took an hour for anybody to say anything. <laughs> Which I thought was really funny. I'm like, am I in top? Is there anybody here? Is the mic on? I'm like, <laughs> camera, action. <laughs> That's funny. All right, there we go. All right, if anybody had a question about anything previously, you can go back and ask me or something now. I had no idea, sorry. But thank you, Jovi, for the information. Uh, going back to, okay, now we have a question here. Eric has a question. What about selecting stocks would be self-sufficient? Yes, it will be self-sufficient. You can use the scanner from your platform or you can buy a scanner. You will find the gaps either through your scanner with the platform or you will purchase a scanner. The scanner itself will give you gaps and then you rate the gaps. You don't need me for that. You, all you have to do is find gaps and then you rate them. You learn in the class everything you need to trade by yourself. You learn in the class how to actually rate the gaps. You have to find the gaps in a scanner or your platform, which is easy, and then you rate them, and then you learn in the class how to do the entries. You have to wait till the stock opens at 9.30 to see how it's gonna set up. I teach six different entries in the class. You don't know which one you're gonna get in any day. You don't know until the stock actually opens but I teach you everything in the class that actually you can learn how to do it. Jovi wants a prize. I can give you a trial in the trading room the rest of this week and next week. How about that? Happy birthday. <laughs> how long does it take to rate the gap? If you're new, like I was saying, three, four, five minutes per gap, but you're not rating 50 gaps in the morning. You're scanning. And you're saying, no, 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 no. And then you make a watch list. You say, oh, this one looks good. This one looks good. This one looks good. But you didn't rate them yet. And so then you get a group. And you have a group together of five things. And then you rate all those five. So if it takes you five minutes to rate five, how long is that? It's 25 minutes. So then you have to, you have to give yourself at least you have to start by 9 o'clock. I mean, you should be sitting at your desk if if you're not at your desk by 9 o'clock, I wouldn't trade your trade. Even if you don't even do gaps, you should be at your desk at 9 o'clock. The market opens at 9.30. And I start looking at things just because of the way that I am. Usually, okay, this is what I do. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't really look at stuff at night unless I feel like motivated to do a video. If I don't do a video at night or something or something that I really, really want to do is not gapping, which is not tonight then I will just not even look at anything. And I give myself a 24 hour break from charts. I actually think it's like really important. Then I get up in the morning and before I go to the gym at 5 a.m. I look and see what anything's doing or six o'clock, whatever time I get out of bed and I look. 
then I see whatever's going on. And then I leave, I go to the gym and I come back and then I make breakfast and start scanning. And as I'm making breakfast and watching TV, I'm scanning. And so I start to do that about 7.30, 8 o'clock. So you don't have to do that for two hours, but I run a live trading room. I'm very focused on what I do. I'm really, really into what I do. So that's what I do. Okay. Yes, that's what a gap is. A gap is when the stock closes at one price the night before and opens the next day. And by the very essence of the fact that it's gapping, you would, uh, you would have to look at the post-market or the pre-market. That's the only way you even find the gap. Excellent question, Russ. He asked if I'm looking at pre-market gaps. The answer is yes. And he gets a point. <laughs> he gets a prize. Because that was a good question. Because that's the very essence of what a gap is. Okay. Obviously, I'm rubbing off on you people. All right, let's get back to this. And any other questions while I'm talking about this? This was a swoosh. Now, I teach this in the class, but just very, very quickly. The, the market swooshed. It did a stock swoosh. It did a stock swoosh the day of the 24th of the gap. It's, it was crazy, but it did it. Now, what did it do after it swooshed? It negated the swoosh. It rallied over the high of the swoosh, and actually the market got bought. Now, the low in the market on the day of this low is 84.71-ish or something, and it has held. market hasn't gotten anywhere near there, by the way. Actually, that made me just think of something. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't have my charts up and I got to finish the PowerPoint. Somebody tell me right now. Somebody look it up in the queues. I want to know what the low is in the market since after the gap. Quickly tell me the number. I want the low in the market and the, after this. After this. Somebody give me what the last low was after this in the market really quickly right now because I just thought of something and I don't want to take this off or I'll screw up the charts. What is it? Somebody look it up for me. Galahad. Anyone. I actually don't pay for a special scanner. I have just a scanner on my platform if you want me to be honest with you. I did pay for a scanner at one point and then I felt like it was a duplicate and I said this is a waste. Everything I had was in the platform. See if somebody can tell me that. Anyways, the reality was that the market got bought and it got bought with power money. So the story, the moral of the story is that the market's higher and that it takes a lot of power money a lot of money period to buy a swoosh which is what happened so the swoosh got bought it negated the swoosh it rallied of the swoosh because the actual bar here is ten dollars so a ten dollar amount of selling from the gap actually from 102 to let's let's go to the whole thing 102 up here where it closed the night before and then all the way down here at 84 something or whatever this is massive selling that happened i'm counting the gap and the move and the swoosh but i'm telling you that's amazing because it got bought it got bought all the way through, and that takes money. This would not have reverted the swoosh without buying, and that's very significant. Uh, not, I, wanted, I wanted not this day, Joe. I wanted it after that. So somebody said 9801. Okay, so it actually was the day after. We've not even got any close to that. That's, okay, this is, I have to look at the chart. Here, let me finish through here. We may or may not have time. I, I, there's something here that I see. And if we don't have time tonight, you know what? I'll do a video. Go to my YouTube site right now and subscribe to the Stock Swoosh at YouTube. Kathy, plop it in again. I promise I will do a video because I'm thinking something else here. That's not going to say what I'm trying to teach you. So I have to bring the chart up. But in any event, go subscribe because if you subscribe, then when I do the video, you get it to me email. That's not going to say what I was trying to teach. But if we have time, we'll do it tonight. If not, well, I'll just do a video. All right, getting back to what I was saying, what helps with successful profits in a system, it's money management. That's, that's how you do it. And you can't be afraid to take a stop. You've got to be deliberate in your trade choices. How do you do that? You've got to get conviction in the method that you do it so that you can stick with the trade and do it. And part of this has to do with the proper education. If you have the proper education, you can do well. And, and you can do well. You've got to learn a system that has an edge for profit. And, and I have that system. So if you want to go back and watch all the videos I did on YouTube, if you've subscribed, all of last year, 2014, into 2015, you'll see that, that I've called the market well. And, and I'm telling you now, the market will make another new high before the end of the year. So the system is proven in the sense that I've made predictions that have turned out to be true in the longer term and also on the day. 
So you can use the golden gap rating method for day trades or swing trades or even core trades. Personally, I like to day trade. It's about creating a plan of action to achieve your financial goal of making 20,000 a month trading because that's a lot of money. That's actually a lot of money to make if you're, no matter what you're doing. It's a good amount of money that could actually support you or family. And so you, ha you can't just gamble to do it. You have to say, you have to go laser focus the way that I described it and that is how I trade. And if you don't see it, you don't do it. Otherwise, you just go after it hog wild. Now I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a class that teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power, money, and charts. The course teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. The course teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts, focusing on technical analysis and gaps. The course teaches how to get conviction in your trading in the market as a source of wealth by trading with the side of power for consistent profit. Ultimately, you really have to start somewhere. And, and this requires a plan of action. What is your plan of action? Like right now, this second, and right in the room, everybody, what is your plan of action till 1231, 2015 with your trading? Does anybody even know? Like I actually have a plan of action in my head. Like I didn't write it down, but I actually have a plan of action in my head. I should, I should write it down. I'm gonna write it down over the weekend, but I have a plan of action. Like I wanna make this much money for the end of the year. Boom, okay? You have to start somewhere. You have to make $1,000 a month before you can make 2,000. Three before you can make six. Six before you can make 10. I mean, this is how you do it. You have to be consistently profitable as a trader if you want to make it. And if you're not consistently profitable, then you need to have something that you're going to do to fix the situation. Because if you don't have a right plan of action in place and a reliable system, the market will just take your money. And I don't want that to happen to you. So you have to learn something good. You have to focus on the quality. You cannot lose a lot if you want to make 20000 a month trading. That means two things. Getting it right many times in a row. Not losing too much in one trade if it doesn't work out. And, and taking the stops. And the stops help reinforce a disciplined behavior. And I do it. Do you know that I had 10,000 shares of RAD with the stop? With the stop. And, and it held it. It worked. I made money in the trade. But if the trade had stopped me out, it would have gone through the stop and I would have been hit out with that share size. It would have hit me out. And I might have even had slippage with that much uh, size. I divvied it up. But the reality is that I'm always going to trade with stops. Unless one day I decide to run a hedge fund and I can't. I mean, I'll have a deeper stop. But it's really about the quality, not the quantity. And some days you may even have to take a day off. And like I said, I didn't trade today. So looking at the market and the QQQs. Oh, here it is. I don't have to do here. This is what I was trying to say. Well, see this chart. All right, let's just look at the cues. The other one was a spy. Yep. <laughs> the low since the day, and then I call this the anomaly. So since the day of the anomaly, the low in the cues is not only more than 50% above the actual move of the drop, it actually has held the close of the day, of the day of the anomaly. So it's actually below. We are definitely higher. This is, this is such great stuff, people. I really, you learned something here? What did you learn? Here, this is actually, I actually taught Kathy something. Now, now I feel like this was, whole thing was worth it. The whole night was worth it. <laughs> if I taught Kathy something, if I can get you to trade, I've done my job. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> and Kathy's actually taken a, the wealth manifestation class. Kathy's taken so many non-trading classes. All right, let's go back to what I, this is just the point. The, the point is that the, that the market, that the QQQs gap down, it swooshed, okay? The swoosh was bought, which I just showed you, because the charts look very similar in the Qs and the SPY. Okay, came in, rallied, held, closed, closed in the day of the anomaly, then it gapped up the day after the anomaly of the gap down, which was not a good short. For my 26-point rating system, it rated at 16. You shouldn't have shorted it. I didn't go long it, but the market gapped up, ran right on the day, held, held in the middle of no man's land, and actually held the close of the anomaly day. And that has held. That has actually held. 
it's held for since a month it's a month it was august 24th to tomorrow is september 24th this we will not go through this we will not break this look at that look at that look at that look at that and i just saw that now i just thought of it in my mind i'm like wait a minute i want to look at that and see if this really is and it did and see this is what i'm talking about it's like i know i know what the thing has to do and then if i see it i'm like oh my land it actually did it and what I was thinking, and I wasn't even thinking this, but now that I saw this, it gives me 100% conviction of the confirmation we really are higher, which everybody knew. But the point I'm trying to make is that from the high of the day, of the anomaly and the low of the day, of the anomaly, we actually not only got over it, we haven't even traded 50% past through it again, even squealing around. Because we've really gone nowhere since then. But I'm telling you, we're higher. But I'm saying the confirmation is we've been squiggling, we've been, we've been squiggling around, but we, we haven't gone anywhere near even here. We haven't gone anywhere near even here, do you understand? And we've actually had some bearish gaps. This is a bearish gap. 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 We've had, this is a bearish gap. We've had bearish, this is a, this was a bearish gap right there. The day after the, this, of the third day after it gapped down. This is the, there. Oh no, wait a minute, it gapped up. Wait, hold on, let's count them. One, no, here's one, two. One, two, three, four. Five, six. There have been six gaps since the down gap. Six down gaps in a month. And we've held this area. And we haven't got anywhere near fifty percent, which we could have come in and retested. You know how my mind reads this stuff, but knowing, knowing, knowing what to look for, knowing what to look for that tells me that strength. I'm reading the strength. I'm reading who's in control and, and, and the power of money and control of the market is the bulls. And I just told you all the reasons why without knowing anything at all. And so there you go. Boom. You just got some really good information from me tonight. Now let's talk about a plan of action in place. Number one, trade only golden gaps or rate according to the 26 point rating system so that you have a high rate of success in directional bias, which I teach in my class. Number two, you get the best entry you can with precision early in the morning to get the good risk reward trains. Three R's is what you're looking for every day. Number three, you create a money management plan for yourself to achieve your goal of making 20,000 a month day trading. And number four, you be in the live trading room with me daily and do my calls and only my calls. And the reality is if you want to trade on your own, you can, but I will tell you that my calls are good and you learn a lot from me in the room. If you take the Golden Gap class, you're eligible to sign up for the live training room. You cannot sign up for the live room without having taken the class. You can do a trial for one week, that's it. Except for Jovi is getting a present, he gets a week and a half. And the other guy who actually gave a question to, Russ, email me. But you have to actually do the class to be in the room. But if you want to do the class and trade on your own, go for it. I encourage you to do it. You learn everything from me to do so because I hold nothing back, okay? And actually, I held nothing back tonight. This was a good webinar. So let's talk about the Golden Gap course. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course teaches what direction to play the stock. It also teaches you how to play the stock on the live day and take the entries and exits. The class teaches you how to read institutional positioning in stocks. The Golden Gap course teaches you how to day trade gaps, which is very important. It's a reliability in the 26-point rating system. You've got to give yourself a chance to earn the income you desire in 2015. You've got to work smarter, not harder with what you're doing. And let me tell you something. It's almost the holidays. It's, 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 I can't even believe it. Like, it's fall here in New York. It's beautiful. I love the weather. But I can feel the snow. It's right around the corner. I'm trying to enjoy every nice day that I can right now. I'm telling you before you know it, it's going to be the end of the year. Before you know it. What is your plan of action by 1231? Write it down. you got four more months, less than that, three and a half, to make a certain amount of money in the market or figure out that you're going to learn how to trade a new system like mine before 2016 so that 2016 can be a great year for yourself because time keeps ticking. The market keeps moving. Life keeps going on. And the longer you wait to make a change in your trading or your life or learn something new, you're just losing time. You're, you're not getting any younger, okay? None of us have time to waste. I don't have any time to waste, okay? And I'm, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now with everything with my career. You've got to make 2016 a great year, and you might need to prep yourself like now. Prepped, learn it, do it, start to get going, practice, take the small risk to work up to the big risk so that by come January, you're ready to go to risk five, dollars $600 in a trade and start making this kind of money. You have to think about how badly do you want it. This really it has to be you 
my wish for you is that this is you because this is all the losers. This is everybody that's losing. This is where you need to be. This is where I am, obviously. That's why I'm a, I'm a happy person. But it took me a long time to get here. You don't have to go through that, what I did, but you do have to learn something so you can get to this point. So empower yourself today. I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a complete system to trade. I teach all the pieces of the puzzle you need, the 26 point rating system, the entries, the exits, the targets, everything you need, the swoosh to actually trade. And I even talk about the brain in the class too. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a full two day course on how to strategically find, pick and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Now I do teach a bullish class, the dates for all upcoming classes are going to be on my website by October 1. And the next October class for the gap class is actually October 17th and 18th. It's 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern time. Cost of the class is $3,999. However, if you sign up by September 30th, you will pay $34.99. No exceptions. So if you want to do the class and sign up by the 30th, then you can pay $34.99 and you can save $500, okay? Email me for the sign-up information. If you email me for the sign-up information, then you can sign up by the deadline. I do not have the registration information yet on the website. It won't be there until actually the website is complete and done, okay? And my email again is melissa at the stockswish.com. So I teach a class, it's called the Trends Course. This is a course on how to read stocks, trends, and charts. The cost of the class is $9.99. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. And I also have a special if you sign up for both. By September 30th, you'll pay $39.99 for both classes, for two classes, and save $500. So remember, think about the things I said tonight. Thank you for coming, everyone. I do do bullish gaps, but only occasionally. I prefer to short. I might do three or four bullish gaps a year, Gordon. I just prefer to short. Or Gord, sorry. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you, Online Trader Central. Good night.